Welcome Top Pro, it's Coach Carol Mazur, and our Action Our Coaching topic is showings. And we'll be discussing selecting homes to show and planning your time. The key to being an effective selling agent is to know the market. So you have to know the resale and the new home market so that you can easily identify the value and not waste time showing overpriced listings. Selecting properties to show means choosing a limited number of listings that match the conditions of the qualifying session and also matching their needs, their wants, their financial ability, and their motivation. Buyers don't want to see everything. They just want to feel confident that they aren't missing a good opportunity. So begin by selecting neighborhoods. Showing the right house in the wrong neighborhood is a complete waste of time. Try to show all the homes for sale in the same neighborhood during the same time frame. Chunk them together. Most of the time when buyers have school-aged children, the school district they'll be living in is very important to them. And in other areas, you may need to have a discussion where if they do a lot of redistricting, you don't want them to purchase a home thinking that's where their kids are going to school and then the very next year, the kids start getting bust. So next, select home styles that they like and always encourage buyers to be flexible. If there's a shortage of the style home that they like, then ask them to consider similar styles. Or you might say something like this. In this price range, there are not a lot of two-story homes. They're more ranch for the square footage in the price range. Now, sometimes buyers may be limited as to the style due to if they have health issues or if an elderly person has trouble walking. So you won't be able to switch everybody out of what they're looking for. Try to just have your clients and yourself keep an open mind and be flexible. When you're trying to time when to tell people you'll be there to show their home, there can be a lot of unexpected delays, of course, when kids. So even if there are no kids along, allow time for lunch, bathroom breaks, Usually it's reasonable to plan on three homes per hour if they're in the same general neighborhood.